our fit. Let me introduce you my sister Karina. Hi everybody. I'm visiting her in New York City and Karina is an amazing dancer and ballerina and she agreed to show us her full stretching routine. That's right. This is going to be really amazing guys. We are going to shoot the full length video of her amazing routine, the full body stretch and she is going to show you advanced version of it because she's really advanced and I am <laughs> I'm not that flexible I've never been it's something I really need to work on and I should work on it more so if you are not really advanced like me I'll be showing you the beginner modifications for every stretch so stay with us give it a try either you're a beginner or advanced level dancer it's gonna be great okay in New York City everybody has a busy schedule and so do I and this routine helped me to keep up with my busy schedule and also keep up with my beloved hobby which is dancing and ballet so let's get started all right okay so we're gonna start up with um, some warm-up uh, let's do 20 squats and jumps. Okay. So, ready? Yep. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Jump higher if you can. <laughs> it's always yeah, it's so early. <laughs> it's so early. It's 8 o'clock in New York City. It's like Sunday morning. <laughs> Sunday morning. Unbelievable. <laughs> Can't jump too high, sorry guys. <laughs> Woo. Oh, I think we're doing more than 20. Yeah. Like, ah. Yes. Okay. My, my legs feel like we did a little bit more. Let's do some side bends to okay. get our sides all warmed up, our backs, and yeah, let's get started. Okay. 20. Okay. I found Four, <laughs> five, six. Oh, I feel so good. Seven. Oh, yeah. Okay. Eight, nine, six, one, two, three, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, it feels good. Twenty. Yay. Just stretch it out. You know, see how your body feels. <coughs> Stretch it out, stretch it back, stretch it front, go. See how your hip feels. Just everything, you know. <laughs> Feel stiff Sunday morning. <laughs> Woo. Okay. okay, let's do some hip circles. Okay, open up our hips a little bit more. How many are we doing? Ten okay. each. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Oh, that's okay. Let's do some quick squats, just 10 squats. Okay. In turned out position. A little bit for a little bit wider. Okay, yeah. you ready? So one, two, three. I love squats. Four, <laughs> five, six. I know you do. <laughs>
exercises we're gonna do today. First one, you would need a strap. It's actually really a good investment I made, this very strap. It, <laughs> you can use it for many things, for leg stretches, shoulder stretches, just so many things. So yeah, I would recommend that flexi stretch strap. Okay, let's start with just, they call it flossing your shoulders. This kind of, you know, okay. make them nice and loose. Oh yeah. Let's do 10 of those. Okay. Three. Four. This feels good. Yeah. Seven, eight. It's actually a good exercise for your arms. Oh yeah. Not just flexibility. Okay. Then let's try exercise against this wall. You can use any wall in your house, apartment, whatever. The wall. Put your arm against the wall and stretch. Stretch for 45 seconds. How does it feel? Oh, good. excellent. Can't turn this way. You know, if you have somebody in your house, you can actually can you can ask them to just oh. give you a little bit extra. gonna start with our back warm-up exercise so that's the one I really prefer simple and effective so let's start in in and out yeah in and out let's do 10 times each side okay ready yep one Shout pose. This yes. is my favorite pose of all time. That's right. <laughs> okay. Let's do our um, backpacks. Okay. Do we need a timer? Uh, it, yes. yes. Okay, I'll grab a timer. So, for more advanced people, you know how big you are, you can start your backbends with. Uh, standing position and less advanced people like me can just start from the floor. Okay, I'm gonna go. do three back bends, 30 seconds each. Okay, I'm and gonna watch the tip, time. You have to really make sure you shift your weight on towards your shoulders, towards your arms. Keep your arms and elbows really straight. 
feel the stretch not just in your back, in your shoulders, and try to keep your legs straight at a time too. It, it stretches actually different parts of your back. So okay, it's really good. Okay, okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm gonna watch the time. Did you set the timer? Yep. Start. Right away. I'm 
when you start stretching because bad habits are really easy to keep I mean, I'm not ideal, but try it <laughs> so, okay. 10 seconds forward. left sometimes it helps to push your foot against their strap so like really exercise that strength oh yeah push good. against 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 and then for six seconds and then relax into your stretch you can actually feel as your leg can go even further every time you do this push and relax um, practice so okay you can try that really helps to increase your flexibility even further Okay, let's yep. okay. rest let's rest for fifteen seconds okay. and do our second move. Maybe it's third already, but <laughs> it's always good to stretch more than last, right? Oh, so the same leg? <laughs> yeah, the same leg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can go. Go. Okay. so you can go and push a little bit yourself a little bit further it's really nice watching birds yeah <laughs> The most important thing is to keep your knees straight, yeah. right? Yeah. Otherwise, you don't stretch. Right places. It's it's not as important how far you go, how high your leg goes. It's really important to keep a right form and get into right habits. So yeah, guys, don't try to bring your legs all of this way if you have a bad knee like I do. S stay where you safely can but keep your knees straight it's the most important thing <laughs> that's right okay five more seconds timer's up okay 15 seconds rest Open up 
can not open my hand. <laughs> it's okay. like such a natural position for me. I'm gonna keep it straight. <laughs> Breathe nice and steady and try to relax into it. Or you can use this pushing technique, push against your strap for oh six no. seconds. Push, 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 and then relax and see how you let go even further. I can actually feel that my leg goes further if I do this technique. Definitely, yeah. So many uh, dancers and gymnasts use this technique to get nice and stretched. How Okay, five seconds. Push, 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 push. Really? <laughs> okay, timer's off. Okay. So, uh, last set on the left leg. I'm getting ready here. Yep. Ready? Okay. Ready. Exercise. 
guys know let's actually keep the same okay. side. Let's bring our knee. Um, or let's bring our foot on top of other knee and try to bring your knee, your right knee towards your left foot all the way down, like in the yoga pose. Okay. And timer. Yes. And oh, then. this is the deepest stretch. is actually very good for your middle splits some people think that that's enough for middle split to have flexible groins but it's it's very important to have flexible hip flexors for middle splits and turnouts in ballet if anybody wants that okay timer yep okay oh let's do so another good. side Woo. let's do our straight kind of straddle first and then Yoga pose. Okay. Get ready? Yep. Timer. Bring your knee to the knee. Keep your legs straight. Oh, this is deep stretch. Wow, this is I like this one. I think I've seen uh, s in the movie about ballerinas and they will be the same. Oh, they they are sitting. They are sitting actually, like in this pose for like hours. <laughs> what? In between their classes? Yes. That's crazy. Yeah. Professional ballerinas for sure. Okay. Timer. Okay. Let's go to our yoga pose. Okay. So ankle on the knee and yeah. the other knee on the other foot, right? Yes. So it's gonna be like kind of square, kind of square, straight line in front of you, kind of ninety degree angle. Okay, timer's on. So, okay, let's do it. Oh, this is the deepest, the deepest stretch. <laughs> let's go again. Oh, I so feel it. Yeah.
supposed to feel a little bit uncomfortable and you're supposed to feel a little tension and you're supposed to feel stretch, right? But you can't push to the point when you're ready to scream from pain and you don't want to do it anymore. You have to really stretch smart and do it over time, not over time. 30 seconds left for some more advanced people. You can grab your back leg. You can try to stretch your back a little bit. Oh, it feels bad. Oh. 10 seconds. <laughs> Almost Ooh. done.
talk or doing something, the time flies, not as bad as I thought. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 30 seconds left. Still there. Still here. Ooh. Stretch. Forward. Stretch. Stretch. Ten seconds. Right there. <laughs> Afterwards, it feels so good. It takes away any tension you have in your body. It's just really worth it. It's really worth it to keep a regular stretching routine. Now, are you ready for set two sets, one minute each of over splits? If you don't feel comfortable in your split yet, so keep it in your split. So are you ready? Yep. Okay, let's do it. So one minute. seconds left. <laughs> Doing great. Oh. Feels good to wiggle a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You can really see how the body feels and where which place is tight. You need to stretch a little bit more. Whether it's front or it's it's back or your leg. Okay. So, last part of my routine. 
middle split. I'm gonna do middle split three times, one minute each time. So let's get right into it. Do you need a chair still? Uh, you done? No, I don't know. Sure. I just move the chair. Um, <laughs> so usually I start this like this warming up my hips a little bit. So I put my legs in the second position, turn out, just go down and stretch, stretch your hip joints. your knees out, out, and open up, open up your hips. Is it important if you sit like kind of deep or? Like you have to sit kind of deep and kind of deeply. Deep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that, that's a stretch. Yep. Okay. Let's go into our middle split. Oh, so Usually, I do need my mat. So yeah, guys, yeah, you do. Usually, I start with a little straddle. Just warming up. Going down. Seeing how that feels. And then, crawling, crawling, a little bit forward. Right to my middle split. Are we doing a timer? Yeah, we're doing a timer. In one minute. One minute. Okay. One minute, three sets. More advanced people, if you can do a split, you can go forward and feel the whole length of your body on there, ground. It actually feels good. Full straddle. Look left. Any kind of side stretches. I usually do side stretches in the split. So like this wrist. <laughs> so one minute? One minute. Yeah. Okay. Fifteen seconds. Okay. <laughs> Left. Yep. I remember when I was stretching for this one and I couldn't reach the ground. That was really the most annoying split for me to, to master and I always left it to the end so that's why I have it <laughs> at the very end. Okay, timer. Okay. So now what? 15, 15 second rest. And you're gonna shake, do it shake, again. shake, 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 shake. Oof. Feels good. Oh yeah, the like, sun is here. Yeah, opening up all your shop. hips. Okay, ready? Yep, I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, start. Get the straddle. Push it. 
that's why it's recommended to actually go even if you can't get in the full split go like this in the split and let your body your gravity take over and bring you down wow that's my goal guys <laughs> that looks so good it just it just feels so incredible if you can do it i guess yeah it yeah. looks so amazing i think it feels really good when you're able to oh just yeah do i mean things. yeah yeah it feels great especially after you're done you feel all like relaxed stretched out and opened up everything it's great Bye guys!